Here's how Late Night is preparing for Trump's dishonest and corrupt media awards. After President Donald Trump tweeted that he would be announcing the most dishonest and corrupt media awards on Monday, a few top Late Night hosts decided to submit themselves for consideration for the year. I will be announcing the most dishonest and corrupt media awards of the year on Monday at 5 o'clock o'clock, Trump wrote. Subjects will cover dishonesty and bad reporting in various categories from the fake news media. Stay tuned. Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Kimmel and Trevor Noah all took time out their shows on Wednesday to mull over their chances of receiving one of the awards, or as Colbert referred to them, the fakies. Here is how the hosts are preparing for the ceremony. After sharing his excitement at the prospect of winning an award, the host of The Late Show revealed that he had purchased a billboard in New York City Times Square in hopes of increasing his chances of being honored in categories such as Least Bear to Barty, the Eric Trump Memorial Award for Disappointment and Smallest Button. Personally, I am excited for the most dishonest and corrupt media awards of the year, he said. Because nothing gives you more credibility than Donald Trump calling you a liar. And I, of course, don't you want to get snubbed? Apparently late night minds think alike. Not to be outdone by Colbert, no not only purchased a billboard in Times Square, but took out a full page ad in the New York Times promoting the Daily Show as political propaganda disguised as entertainment and monotonous liberal dogma. After provoking North Korea and then insulting Palestine, the president turned to America's greatest foe, the fake news media, Noah said of Trump's announcement. So that was Donald Trump's day on Twitter. The bad news is he is itching to start a nuclear war. The good news is, despite his threats to Korea, at least he thinks we were going to make it until Monday. Meanwhile, Kimmel was feeling a bit less confident than his peers and apparently trying to keep everyone's hopes at bay.